Um, good afternoon, and uh, I have to say it's been a, a very, very uh, interesting and long journey. I would that it would it, that it had been seven weeks, but it's just been uh, seven days here, and um, my responsibility has been to communicate to you the the at least the basic aspects and principles of the law of time, the comprehension um, that because we have been living in a distorted time frame, uh, as it were, the 1260 artificial time frame, that we could not understand the true nature of time, that the true nature of time could only come through a series of, of revelations, because revelation is what breaks through the conditioned mindset. And so only by breaking through the conditioned mindset can we begin to have some understanding of what is meant by the law of time, that uh, we're dealing with different orders of time, the cyclic order of time, uh, the synchronic order of time, that time is the fourth dimension, that time uh, is a form of information biology, that there are absolutely uh, perfect um, harmonics of time by which the biology of the universe is regulated as a, as a form of uh, continuously recirculating information and that uh, through uh, to understand all of this that the, the revelations of the law of time have uh, been all based on the restoration of the natural biological cosmic cycle, the bio-solar telepathic cycle of 28 days, um, 13 times a year, which is a reflection of the moon going around the earth 13 times as the earth orbits the sun um, once, and that this also is a cycle that we find uh, in the rotation of the sun itself on its axis that uh, at a mean point just north and south of the equator it turns 28, uh, it turns once every 28 days. Um, that uh, the, the mathematics of the law of time are not a decimal mathematics but a vigisimal mathematics that to properly understand the law of time and the true nature of time we need to go to a mathematics that is not the same as the mathematics of space that there is a mathematics of time that as the fourth dimension time is greater than and includes the third dimension that time the fourth dimension informs the third dimension that from the point of view of, of space space is infinite and time is <laughs> unlocatable <laughs> Yeah, but from the point of view of time, space is an infinitely locatable point, which is your consciousness, that the evolution of time is the evolution of consciousness. The dynamics of the evolution of time are the evolution of consciousness, that consciousness is a property of stellar evolution, that consciousness uh, is evolved by the star system, that the p different planets of the star system um, hold the different harmonic resonant patterns of the particular star, and those harmonic patterns or waves are the functions or hold the different functions of consciousness, that these can be mapped out on a fourth dimensional uh, interplanetary map, which is known as the telectronon and that uh, uh, the, in the process or the course of the evolution of the star systems that we also have a particular situation of why, did, why was it that here on this planet that we got separated from the natural timing frequency that the rest of life in the universe is functioning on this natural timing frequency, why did we get separated from it and this brings in then the fact that we are dealing with with the universal theology that has to do with the the free will zone the experiment in the free will zone that the free will zone is defined as the velotropa sector that it's a a zone six thousand light years um, in circumference that is that is defined by the pulse by the pulsar called vela which is a remnant of a supernova and that this 
pulsar uh, uh, defines the entire experimental zone that R star Kinecha Hau is the, or V24, Velotropa 24 is at the very center of this experimental zone, and that the different um, errors uh, in karmic residue of the experiments of free will that have occurred uh, have, been, have been deposited at the very center of the Velotropa sector, and that uh, in, in our planetary system that we have had this um, a karmic residue and error, which was visited first on Maldek, the fifth planet, which is now the asteroid belt, which holds the sound of the mysterious lost chord, Zymox, <laughs> and that from Maldek the error was transmitted to Mars, where the civilization of Mars was blown out, and now the final place, the repository of that error, is here on Earth, and during the last 5,000 uh, odd year, 5,200 year, cycle that we've entered the intense zone of trial and testing and that uh, to understand all of this the where we are at this point in time which is spoken about in the sacred texts and the prophecies of all peoples that the revelation of the law of time has come to help us to understand our position in time and where we are according to the Mayan Great Cycle. We are now some less than 13 years from the ending of the Great Cycle on the winter solstice 2012, which incidentally at that point in time the Earth will be perfectly aligned with galactic center in the, in the constellation Sagittarius. And so, so that, that is a perfect alignment of the Earth with the galactic center. And that, um, that's, what else did we miss in our review? You got all that, right? Mmm, <laughs> <laughs> come on. <laughs> Just, um, so, <laughs> so to, to help us get through that, not only do we have the analysis of the problem, the analysis of how we got here, that this is the moment of the judgment day, but then we also have the instruments or the tools to help reharmonize uh, and rearrange the synchronic order in a harmonic way because during the 1260 uh, deformation of time that the, the genetic code and our perceptions became deformed to such a degree that we think peace is war and the universe is flat. But <laughs> so we need to get out of that uh, quagmire and so uh, the instruments and tools like the 260 postulates of the dynamics of time, the 20 tablets of the law of time, and the 7777 um, have been revealed and given us as the tools so that we actually can participate in what is usually referred to as the second creation. In the in the cosmology of this final dispensation, this revelation which confirms all previous revelation and as we demonstrated this morning mathematically that the law of time affirms the final criterion of the historical cycle which is the Holy Quran and the, the law of time is found in the Holy Quran just as the 19 code of the Holy Quran is found to be the main uh, a mathematical constant in the Mayan Tzolkan so that we have a complete affirmation of, of these points in this cosmology. We speak of three types, <laughs> which are all one type, okay, of the emerging evolution um, because also as we saw that at this point which is referred to as the judgment day trial that we are actually at the point of what is referred to as the biosphere noosphere transition the catharsis of the biosphere in a state of high biogeochemical heat and transduction that uh, the, the passage from the biosphere to the noosphere represents the creation of a telepathically unified field among the human species which can only come about by the human species being restored into the correct timing frequency, the 1320 timing frequency. And when we are restored in the 1320 timing frequency, the universal telepathy then creates a a sphere around the planet which encompasses the biosphere which is referred to as the noosphere, the mental sphere around the planet and that can only be a complete uh, integrated mental sphere as a result of the universal telepathy that is restored by living in the 1320 frequency 
and which which again is based on the following and being being uh, f a function of the 13 moon calendar and the this points to the preparation for the emergence into the next geological cycle of the earth which is the psychozoic era which occurs or will occur or is scheduled to occur um, in 2013 following the close out of the great cycle at the end of 2012 and so to prepare for that we are being evolved no longer at the material level but at the mental and the spiritual level so that we can fully participate in the fourth dimensional order of reality all of life is one everything is a unity the awakening of the soul of the earth is the awakening awakening of our own soul and unitary consciousness when at the time of resurrection there's only one soul that is resurrected we're all made from one prototype Adam Cadman and that prototype exists in all of us there is no such thing as separation that is a disease of the mind caused by the 1260 Satan trap of artificial time so in preparation for all this that we have the emergence of a new evolutionary type generically the evolutionary type is referred to as the earth wizard the earth wizard is the being that lives completely in harmony with the earth lives completely in the 1320 timing frequency and has the capacity to practice uh, the celestial harmonics that define the higher levels of the fourth dimensional order of mind as they are defined in the 260 postulate so the dynamics of time aren't you glad this is being recorded <laughs> it's good glad you're still there laughing <laughs> See, you got to have a laugh every so often. Okay, 